come on in. You got the right place. Hayden Fox? Yeah. Art Hibke. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought you'd be a receptionist or something. No, no. I don't believe in unnecessary frills. <laughs> My feeling is people hate going to the dentist. Why make it a costly and painful experience? <laughs> At Art Hipkey's, it's only painful. Have a seat. <laughs> so, you're a friend of Luther's. Yeah. Nice guy, Luther. I remember when we first met. He was down at that all-you-can-eat smorgasbord by the bus station. I don't know if you know it. I don't. A lot of servicemen eat there. But anyway, Luther had cracked his lower incisor on a short rib. Thank God I was in line behind him. I've been his dentist and... frequent dinner companion ever since. But enough about me and Luther. Let's take a look under the hood. Open wide. A little wider. I hate to run up your bill, but I'm going to have to turn on this light. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well, well, you've had some beautiful work done here. Who's your regular dentist? Dr. Sprague, but he died. Well, he died a rich man, I bet. <laughs> this is beautiful. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What about my tooth, though? All right, tell me if this hurts. Oh, gee, yeah, well, yeah, that hurts. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. How bad is it? Maybe as bad as a thousand dollars. I mean, how bad is a tooth? Well, it's abscessed. We're going to have to get an oral surgeon to take it out of there. I can't have my tooth pulled. I've got to fly to Missouri today. Oh, I think the earliest you could get that taken out would be tomorrow morning. Oh, gosh, well, can't we wait? I mean, I put this off for a month. Can't I wait till Monday? Oh, well, Hayden, you've let this go so long, I don't know how far the infection has spread. If that gets down into your front teeth, it could run right through your sinuses and into your brain. <laughs> Then we're not talking an oral surgeon, we're talking a brain surgeon. <laughs> and then we're really talking money. I don't know if you've ever seen a brain surgeon's home, but those guys, <laughs> they really soak you. So why don't you just sit and relax and let me call around and see if I can find somebody to handle an emergency.